And, and, and the Lord spoke to me in the dream, and I'm going to go look it up and search it out. But in this dream uh, last night is William Branham, Prophet William Branham, come to me and told me that Romanism, Romanism is what you need to watch, is William Branham, Prophet William Branham, come to me and told me that Romanism, Romanism is what you need to watch. All right, so you heard Timothy Dixon. Here is the video which he spoke these things. Uh, for those of you that don't know who William Branham is, well, we'll talk a little bit about him, but William Branham is dead. And so what Timothy Dixon is doing in real time on his video is what we call, or what the Bible calls, necromancy. He is in communication with dead people. This is forbidden by God, and it is an abomination to God. And now you've got Timothy Dixon, who is perceived to be just this great one of God bringing in occult practices into the church on top of his plethora of confirmed false prophecies Timothy Dixon practices the occult and then gets his followers to accept this it's all part of the new apostolic reformation mumbo jumbo nonsense this man that you're looking at right here is evil. Now, Alabama Woodsman did a video on this, and here it is. He goes into far greater detail, and it's a great video. Go watch this. My video here is going to be much shorter. And the main thing I want you to focus on is the fact that Timothy Dixon practices the occult, and he is an evil necromancer. If you go to the book of Deuteronomy, we're in chapter 18. Let's start in verse 9. This is God speaking. When thou art come into the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee, thou shalt not learn to do after the abominations of those nations. What did God call them? Abominations. There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or daughter to pass through the fire, or that useth divination, or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch, or a charmer, a consulter with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer. Necromancy, again, is communication with the dead. Look at verse 12. For all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord, and because of these abominations the Lord thy God doth drive them out before thee. To communicate with the dead, as Timothy Dick Dixon witnessed that this dead person William Brannan came to him and told him stuff is an abomination. Now, William Branham, who was William Branham? Well, William Branham had his ministry in the 1930s, 40s, 50s, and 60s. And he is revered, he was revered and is revered even to this day uh, as one of the greatest prophets of our modern time. But was he? And the answer is no. William Branham was an atrocious person. The channel that you're looking at right here is one of the greatest channels on YouTube. The gentleman that runs this channel is a former cult member of William Branham's church. And he goes into great detail in all these videos exposing William Branham and what an absolute racist he was, a false prophet, a con artist, a swindler. Uh, and yet, of course, he was false through and through. And it's just amazing. All the evidence is here. And he presents this, again, so eloquently and so honestly. I encourage you, if you really want to understand and know who William Branham was, he is not the person that many people think he was today. And uh, he was the opposite. He was a terrible, terrible lying person. 
And of course, you can see here he had ties to Kenneth Hagin, as well as Oral Roberts and Jim Jones. But these, uh, I find myself binge watching these uh, videos. They're absolutely fascinating. And, and again, it speaks to, to the delusion of our time, how anybody could believe that this man was a prophet or, or even a man of God is just breathtaking. So again, go to this channel, it's called Leaving the Message, and you will see uh, both of these gentlemen uh, just give factual details on the atrociousness. I know I keep saying that word, uh, but it's so fitting. Uh, all these fake miracles attributed to Branham, and there was zero evidence for any of it. It William Branham was nothing more than a false prophet, lying, swindling con artist who uh, was nowhere near the living God, yet he is revered today as this great man of God. It's incredible. All right, real quick, this is William Branham's uh, gravestone. See anything wrong? Any red flags going up? People will actually travel and visit this site because they worship uh, William Branham. Uh, this guy right here, I'm not sure who this is, but this is just one example of many. There's a lot of what they call grave soaking going on. Uh, you know, meditation happening around there, you know, thinking that, oh, geez, look at this guy. It's unbelievable. People think they're going to get some impartation by, you know, soaking on it or near it or touching it or something. And it's very occultic. It's worship of human beings. It's very difficult to watch. But this is how they revere him even today. And again, it really speaks to the delusion. All right, so we'll wrap this up. Again, just wanted to, you know, really quickly do my part to echo that Timothy Dixon is an evil, occult practicing false prophet. And stay away from him. And, uh, you know, certainly pray for Timothy Dixon that he'll repent. But if anybody tells you that dead people are coming to them, whether in real life or in dreams, it is seeking of familiar spirits. Dead people are not going to raise from the grave to come and give you messages from God. Remember, King Saul tried this. It was wrong. Don't do it. Flee from it. It's an abomination. So stay away from Timothy Dixon. 